Back when I was 12 and watching those horrible, horrible orange bricks for Dragon Ball Z, I would always get ads for two shows. There was more, but like, these two just stuck out in my mind. One was Full Metal Alchemist, which I might make a video on one day, who knows, probably will be gonzo and weird because it's been analyzed to high heaven, I really have nothing to say other than O3 is better, fuck you, fight me. Uh, the other show was Spice and Wolf. Let me set the stage for you, because this show made my young mind stop and stare and wonder. Every second of the trailer captivated me. A journey to the north, economics, winter, and oh, the music was divine. It's so fitting for the show, and though I try to cram it into every nook and cranny of my content, I find that I just can't. The Spice and Wolf just doesn't lend itself to background music that fits everywhere. It is tonally distinct and just puts a smile on my face. Like the idea of honey pickled apples, which aren't common but do exist and holy heck. I want some. I need to try this. Like, you, 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 whole it describes it. You put a little bit of honey, you put some apples, you put some more honey, and you just pickle them. You know, some people add sugar, some people add cinnamon. Oh my god, it just sounds amazing. Which is like what I think. Like, the music of the show is honey pickled apples for your ears. Don't put those in your ears, that'd probably be like a little slimy. But you get the point, you get the point. As soon as I got the show and consumed it in my teenage years, I watched it again. And again, truth be told, I have seen Spice and Wolf roughly 10 times in my life. It's one of those things I just enjoy so wholesomely and on a just really fundamental level. I want to be Holo. I want to look like her. I want to have her confidence. I want to be a cute wolf girl who can turn the tables at any moment, but would rather rely on her own innate confidence and intellect. I thought this when I first watched Spice and Wolf back when I was like 14, and I think this even harder now. She is what I strive to be in every sense of the word. It's insane to me how such a character can exist that appeases all of my sensibilities. Holo is like one of those one in a million things that reminds me of why I'm here on this planet. Whenever I'm reminded of her existence, my day is filled with a joy and I smile knowing I'm on a planet that could birth such a character. Sleepy egg antics aside, I think she's pretty cool, I think. As a Spice and Wolf on the whole, it sucked me in at a young age with Holo and the promise of travel. And while it really does have that, wow, I know, it also has economics, like, a lot. Most of which I did not understand at all at age 14. I just thought Holo was pretty. She is. Don't get me wrong, like, as I've, <laughs> as I've aged and grown a brain, though, I do understand it now. I think, like, the whole coin arc at the start where one kingdom is planning on lowering the content of silver in their coins, trading them to that kingdom so that they can actually do that would be profitable as they need to go about acquiring those coins to mint more of them. Like, I, I am sure my explanation was god-awful. Like, it's high-level stuff. At least it is to my baka head, so forgive me if I don't really get all the specifics. Like, I know I don't get all the specifics, I just kind of enjoy it on this fundamental level. It's one of those shows that's just fun to watch. I understand this stuff, but only on the most basic level. If you want an explanation of that stuff, go watch the Mother's Basement video, which I was originally going to do something very similar to in comparing each version of the story and talking about it. Until I realized, of course, that it had already been done. Like... I, I, I don't know. I, I had like 20 pages of notes for this stuff, and now I'm just like making this short video. Which, also, I care more for the characters than any of the economic stuff. Hell, I only brought up all this to say that Holo using her senses to get traces of lies and weaving around the situation to get to a positive end goal is positively wonderful. She's such a cool character, guys, don't you get it? Holo, wah! <laughs> Lawrence is just like me, a certified holo supremacist. Get fucked, you shepherd girl, holo wah. Honest to god, I have no more to say about Spice and Wolf. I just really like it and love holo as a character. That is all. Thank you for coming to my sleepy talk. But let's, let's talk about Holo's character design, like her, her red eyes, her ears, her tail, it's all very good, I like it, I'm a fan, it's great, um, so, yeah, uh, 
I, I, I know this might sound like a really vapid level to enjoy Spice and Wolf on, but it, it kind of is just that for me. Like, I appreciate Holo Smart, I appreciate everything about her character on such like an intrinsic level. Like, she appeals so much to my sensibilities, and it just really doesn't go deeper than that. She's just really well written, and I appreciate that. It's kind of like my love for Satsuki Mizuka. It, it may not be the deepest appreciation, like... Uh, to, to, to call comparisons to Tsukihime, uh, Kohaku and Tsukihime, like, I have a deep appreciation for that character. But it's just one of those things I intrinsically love, because it's... It's just so visceral in how it appeals to my sensibilities. So yeah, Holo's pretty cool. Um, I... I <laughs> This video kind of seems to me like it may not reach a definitive point, but I need to talk about Spice and Wolf. I need to get my feelings out about Spice and Wolf, or I am going to physically explode. So uh, thank you all for watching. Have a fantastic night, and uh, yeah, bye-bye.